Hello beautiful earth angels, soul tribe collective, light warriors unite. Um, welcome back to today's reading. Today's morning reminders, today's message for you guys. We're going to be using this deck, completely forgot the name, but beautiful energy um, and already heading out with the message that you are transcending. Beautiful, you are transcending. Look at that. Um, there's something that you are birthing into the spiritual right now. Like you are giving birth to something in the spiritual, the non-seen realm, the internal realm that is going to be significant for you for some reason. Whatever this turns out to be, this is like it's birthing inside of you first and then coming out into the material realm. So this could be a particular type of energy or this could be a idea an inspiration a project there's a lot of people getting this energy right now of oh epiphany i used to really enjoy doing this or oh i actually used to really love doing this that i completely forgot about and it all just seems so connected right like people are getting new inspiration come in or re-remembrance of inspiration from the past that was never fully fulfilled right or it was still culminating so this again birthing in the spiritual could be something to do with ideas businesses things like that passions interests but it can also be to do with uh new energies inside of yourself you're birthing something in the spiritual like a new version of yourself or you know so we'll get into pulling a card for you guys Ooh, refuge interesting wow with the chaos bottom deck energy storm spirit yeah there's been a lot of movement recently especially energetically there's been a lot of movement but this is refuge this is like discoveries that you'll find in refuge discoveries that you find in reflection discoveries that you find when you're on a walk or in nature or you've decided to take a trip for a breather like this is like some type of discovery epiphany idea that you're getting or making or doing when and it comes to you in a time of refuge or solitude or uh, relaxation yeah because when you're most relaxed that's when we are at our most open for intuitive guidance and knowledge and channelings but it really feels like this is being pulled out of a deeper place of your soul and this is so weird because it's like whatever this is like I say for some of you this is like something about something you already it's like why didn't we see this before? You know what I mean? It's like pulling out from a deep place inside of you that always existed in there. So it's like we always knew it was in there, but now it's coming out further to the light in some way. You know, 16 is also the tower card, which is funny because we have the chaos and bottom deck energy, 16 being the tower, even though this is a card about refuge, right? But this is actually a card that tells me a story about her being lost in the forest right and let's look at the forest as the astral space the mind the quantum realm life path journey because this message keeps coming through recently not all who wander are lost and this is like you guys have been <laughs> set free from the zoo like we said in the other reading set free from the zoo you're out in the wild you are walking with an awoken consciousness out in this limitless wild space of this jungle of the mind of the forest and you've kind of been exploring doing things to reflect doing things to discover more about yourself or your life path or what direction you would love to go in or do and this is like you are taking a break from actually seeking discovering exploring you're taking a break from traveling and finding your way and you come across this warm, beautiful lake. And now when you sit down, this isn't a part of your path. This isn't a part of your quest. This is when you stop trying, right? This is something about stopping trying when you slow down to gather water and a drink and refuge from this lake. 
all, what she does is reach down and she discovers this water is not normal water and out she pulls from it a ball, an orb of water with a, a unicorn inside, right? So this is like, you're making a big discovery from an emotional pull that you're finding within yourself or you're making a big discovery right when you least expect it, when you really just let go and kind of, yeah, when you just let go and you like give up and you're not trying to do or be anything, you're just going with the flow of life and it's like you come across this lake this water that is your emotion that is created from this fluidity of letting go and you discover something you get clarity you get this epiphany but we can't keep glazing over the tower card energy stillness right reflection like there's some deep energies going on within Especially with the chaos and the tower card, this is like big internal shifts, big internal changes, um, even chaos being upheaved within, wow, within the inner realms or on the outside, like chaos could be coming on the outside around you, not coming, but if it's already happened, this isn't a scary one, if it's already been chaotic, that's what's been pulling up the inner kind of ooh, turmoil and uh, kind of nudging you towards wanting refuge and then when you go into this refuge this hermit mode of stillness and drawn away this is when you get these epiphanies about what's going on retreat look at that definitely you guys if you need to retreat then retreat because and give yourself all of that self-love because there's been a lot of crazy chaotic energy going on inside and being activated activation you guys are having like new energy activated in your chakras and it's really swirling things around, right? It's really stirring the pot. And this is why old energies are coming to the surface because it's almost as if we've got a beautiful loose leaf tea, right? But this loose leaf tea has kind of just been sitting and simmering and uh, brewing, right? And then when it's time, spirit's like, right, let's stir this tea round. And all of the loose leaves start swirling round to the surface that were buried at the bottom. All these little le loose leaves are there to be symbolism of your guys' emotions and epiphanies, those inspiration, past ideas, all of these past energies, right, that are being stirred around inside you and brought to the surface to be activated. You guys are either alchemizing them, cleansing them, releasing them, or building on them, right? Because some of these are old pieces of hope and inspiration and ideas just transformed now into a new energy. So this is like definitely as you go into refuge and retreat mode from maybe taking a rest because of chaotic energy being activated within with new shifts of conscious awakening, things like that, or taking rest from, you know, the outside was a bit chaotic. This is like you're going through a massive activation and there's a lot that you are purging out, bringing to the surface. And ultimately, this is a really beautiful energy, you guys. So with this activation, this is bringing an expansion and this is happening really in springtime because spirit guardian of spring, right? You're activating with the seasons. You see all these daffodils at the bottom, right? And the swan, beautiful. This is you activating along with the seasons to grow a fruitful harvest, right? And this is the summer. We've literally got spring and summer. I didn't realize spirit garden, guardian of spring, spirit guardian of summer. So whatever's happening there's like this swirling of activation of energy within your chakras that is pulling up old energy to the surface and that's not just all bad energy that's loads of old energy old inspirational energy old epiphanies like these can be um downloads and epiphanies that you got in a past awakening resurfacing at the same level of intensity again right that simmered down so this is definitely even old or new knowledge coming to the surface but being felt at a more profound level and then once this is activating it is you know upheaving some things causing you to make some changes making you seek expansion and yeah you guys are doing a really beautiful job at um flowing through these waves so take all the rest and time you need we're going to get a couple more cards 
Yeah, purity. You are purifying your energy right now. This is why everything's being brought up. It's being released. It's being alchemized, transmuted. Uh, awareness being brought to it. You are literally purifying your energy and you guys are a unicorn. You're very rare. You're very special and you have a lot that goes on internally that is actually spiritually guided and a blessing. Like you are guided through internal cycles that are guided by your spirit team that are really creating evolution within you, healing within you, and expansion within you. You guys are a very pure, high vibrational being, and you have unicorns and higher vibrational spirits working with you on your spirit team. But this is like you guys recognizing all that you are as this unicorn, right? This pure, divine essence that has been activated within you, right? This is an essence that you protect within yourself that you channel and that lives inside of you, this purity, right? We're talking about the essence of purity that has been activated and lives inside of you, right? There can also be inner child purity, this soul sweet loving purity that maybe was protected from chaos is now being brought back to the surface and activated because this is your power. Wisdom and stability. Wow. So there's ultimately a lot of thinking, reflecting, and maybe weighing up of options or for the way forward or path forward. You guys are being told that you have um, spirits working on your team that are literally guiding this and helping to guide you. Swans and owls especially, and butterflies, unicorns right and, and birds as well are significant but yeah you guys are moving into this energy of stability or you're either moving into it or kind of causing a chaos or disruption to stability in order to create an expansion you're like wanting to step out your comfort zone you're like wanting to do new things try new paths or that's what's culminating within you guys when it comes to this spring and summer there's something being activated inside of you which is causing like a new lease of life in some way so right now you're really just tuning into your own wisdom and sitting with things, processing things, grounding that energy that's been activated in you into your chakras, into the earth. So take as much time as you need to rest, rejuvenate your spirit and soul. You have been letting go and you have been walking into uncertainty, but just trust that there is magic that lies on the other side of this, that you've been clearing more space for magic. And like we said at the beginning, you've been transcending. You've been transcending. This is a new initiation of you walking through a passage, a spiritual passage, a passage, a spiritual gateway that you have been walking through within the astral spaces in the mind. And there's something about the root chakra here or like a blending, an activation of chakras at a deeper level. So, yes, you guys, you are on the path to your success what you feel would make you happy and feel successful whether that's emotional success material success spiritual success you guys that's what you're headed towards and you're already dipping your foot in the water so keep your strength <clears throat> keep your strength to stand your ground speak your truth and know that you hold wisdom inside of you that is ancient that has been gifted to you right so yes, you are a beautiful, beautiful soul from inside and out and you hold this Venus energy within you. And again, you are purifying and going through your purification of your energy from the winter. Right, I love you so much and I will speak to you all in the next reading of the angels. Mwah.